gonna take you guys along with me, kind of the how behind the scenes. Roberto sent me these flowers for Valentine's Day, all the way from Italy. Wow, babe, you're getting into it. Okay, he's not playing. It is so cold and so it's windy. Cold. It's called what? It's cold. It's no, cold. It, it's called what? The restaurant? Sud. Sud. <laughs> Nervously laughing. Should I make a wish? Yeah, you have to. Okay, wait, wait, what did I make a wish for? Welcome to a new video. Today is a really big day. I'm running a little late like always. Today I am shooting the first portion of the self-publishing course. So really going after one of my and Roberto's biggest goals this year, dreams, just making it happen right off the start of the new year. Today we booked a studio. I rented a camera and my mom's gonna help me shoot today. So we're gonna do all like the talking portions today and then tomorrow we're gonna do like another part of talking portions for two hours and then the next two hours we're gonna take photos and like reels and all that kind of content for it. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me kind of how behind the scenes to really launch a new business, a new avenue. If you guys wanna be kind of a part of the journey or are interested in learning about self-publishing from me and Roberto and get a better idea of what it is. Cause I feel like a lot of people hear me say I have a publishing business and think I'm an author of a book. Technically I am, but the way that it's done, it's not what you think. The way I publish books has nothing to do with what I want to write about and everything to do with strategy. It is about what people want to read and I make books tailored to that, if that makes sense. At first it takes a lot of work, a lot of work, I'm not gonna lie to you, but once you get into it, it's definitely the most passive income you will find, hands down. That's what I use to bridge the way to start doing other things that I wanted to do like YouTube. Still to this day, books is my number one source of income, even over YouTube. Even the amount of sponsorships that I do, even even like AdSense, books is still my highest income. And I like it that way because I trust it. I trust it more than I trust anything else. Just because it's been so consistent in my life on a monthly basis, all you need is like the will to just do it, right? Um, so if you're interested, I did make an Instagram. It's not fully done yet. That's where my number one updates will be. I'll have it on the screen right here. It is called Self Made. That Instagram page will not only be about the course, but just anything. Anything I come out with about business wise, productivity, light, you know, self help, and anything like that will be on that page. So I'll link it right here. Go follow if you're interested. And so, yeah, so that is what we're doing today. I need to stop talking and start getting ready because I need to be at the studio at 8 30 and it's 7. So. I just want to thank Ritual for sponsoring this portion of the video. You guys know I talk about Ritual all the time and that is for a good reason. I'm just obsessed with their products. I've been taking their multivitamin for years now, just recently got back on it and I'm just loving the way that I feel. A couple months ago, I started using their complete protein powder and you guys know protein powder is really essential to me. I'm consistently making protein shakes, putting protein in my smoothies. I want one that's smooth and good tasting but also beneficial to me in multiple ways. 
And what I really love about Ritual's protein, it's all of that. So I have their Complete Protein 18 Plus. Ritual really focuses on only giving you what you need, not too much, not too little, and it kind of takes out the guesswork for me when it comes to picking a protein powder. So for me, a big thing I was looking for when it came to a protein is not just looking at the quantity of how much I needed to take every single day, but also the quality of what is in my protein and what benefits it's actually giving me on a daily basis, and that I'm just not taking it just to take something. So once I did my research and found out that Ritual's protein was a complete protein, I really wanted to try it for myself. This is literally the best. So if you don't know much about protein, protein is made out of building blocks, which are called amino acids. There are nine essential amino acids that you should be getting on a daily basis. And there are amino acids that our body cannot produce on its own, and we get that from food and things that we're putting inside of our body. So when you have a certain food that contains all of these amino acids, it's called a complete protein. You guys know I'm all about convenience and Ritual just brings that to my life. They fill in most of the gaps that I'm needing and just giving me the proper nutrients I need that I wasn't getting before. So for me, the multivitamin and the plus the protein is just a great way to create that nutritional foundation that you need in your diet on a daily basis. And you guys, the taste is so good, especially for it being a vegan protein. Like I love a protein that's just soft and can be made into any texture you desire. Hands down, one of my favorite things about it. It's just like the perfect texture protein powder. If you're on the market looking for a protein powder, even a multivitamin, this is where I tell everyone to go. So if you're interested, I do have a promotional code that they are offering you guys right now. You can get 20% off for your first month by using code Alexis20. I will have everything linked down below. I would definitely hop on it, try it now while you have a promotional code to use. And thank you so much for Ritual for sponsoring this part of the video. have my outfits here already ready to go i might do some changes to see um what i like this is some shoe options that i have and i'm just gonna fix my hair and then we're gonna start shooting oh these are so cute so cute oh i love these i'm keeping these that was Is it too matchy matchy? Mm. With a white shirt? I feel like the white shirt will separate the colors. So, this is the final look we went for. So cute. I got all this. I'm wearing all Revolve, except for my Mock and Mock shoes. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. So, we are running extremely late and that this is the setup that we have and we're going to be shooting there okay so we just got home from shooting day one it was honestly a big fail i got a lot of pictures for the website and stuff like that so we're going to try again tomorrow we have a better understanding of how the studio works we were just highly confused people the entire time but now that we're home and i wanted to i got these actually for the shoot so i'm going to take some more pictures with these bags but i don't know if you guys know who brooke michio she rents designer bags off this website called vivrel if you ever just want like to use a bag for a month or a weekend like a classic bag that will last like that will stay in trend for a long time those are worth buying, right? I will go ahead and buy those. But the bags that like come and go, or if I just like want to try something out that's like funkier that I wouldn't spend my money on, I want to start using this service that you can rent luxury designer bags off of. I'm sure a lot of people actually do this and just don't say they do because they have so many bags and I think it's so, so cool. So if you've ever wanted to, say if you're going on a trip for a weekend or say if you're going on a trip with your girls or you want it for a weekend or you're going to a nice event, like rent the bag for a month, like what the hell? So the first bag that I got, was this cute Chanel. Oh, this is cute. And then I got Bottega. Whoa. Oh shoot, it's the big one. Oh my God, it's so cute. This is the big Jody. Huge Jody in this kind of like yellowish tan color. I'm gonna take this on vacation with me. I think it's just like a cute bag. But I specifically got these for the shoot tomorrow. Like I wanted to shoot with this. So I picked up those bags. Right now I'm going to pack everything so yeah let's get into it so right now i am in bed it's been such a long day i'm completely packed and ready to go the next thing i just need to do is get my 
COVID test in the morning, but we have another shooting day tomorrow. And I didn't vlog a lot of behind the scenes today. I like was just like caught up in figuring it out, but it's just like, go, go, go. And I feel like every time I travel, I'm about to leave for a long period of time to Europe. It's always go, 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 go at a million miles per hour. <laughs> like until I'm sitting on that plane for 10 hours and that's gonna be the time I get to rest. So what's exciting, like when I get back, hopefully I'll have a new home and my car is getting delivered i'm so excited about that so february march and april are going to be really exciting months just exciting things coming a lot of changes coming and um i don't know i'm just excited so i don't know i went on this big long tangent i need to get to the script i'm trying to avoid work so i'm gonna do that and then go to bed and i will see you guys in the morning good morning good morning it is another early morning getting up i'm just doing my makeup i'm trying to leave a lot earlier than we did yesterday. My whole day is planned out for me today and I can't be delayed on anything and I really want to get the main portion of the course completed. Okay, this is too light. There's never a perfect color for me when it comes to makeup, I swear. Roberto sent me these flowers for Valentine's Day all the way from Italy. He got me like a stuffed animal and all this stuff. It was super cute. Everyone was celebrating Valentine's Day. I was like, I don't get to because I'm in a long distance relationship. If you know, you know. And then he surprised me with cute little flowers on Valentine's Day, which was super cute. I need to go though. I'm just gonna go wait by the car because I don't know where she's at. Don't know where she's at. Day two, we are at the studio. We are setting up right now. I ordered some Starbucks on the way because we are, this is day two. This is not a joke, Kamal. No, it's not a joke. My mom is my set assistant today. Yeah. She's doing a really good job for never doing it before. I mean, yesterday, I don't know what's wrong with both of us, but we were dumb. <laughs> <laughs> like we didn't even turn on the lights in here until halfway through the studio no, session correction. time. We didn't even know that there was a light switch. We didn't even understand. Until the afternoon. And then we shot and yeah, yesterday was a fail. That's why I didn't get that much footage from yesterday, but we're back, we're prepared and we're ready. We're not playing today. She's just seeming the clothes right now. This is our little setup. It's a little jank but you gotta do what you gotta do so this is like my we set up like a teleprompter so i can like be reminded of what i need to say um we got the camera about to rent it we rented the camera and then, yeah i'm about to put my shoes on these are the shoes we brought today i only brought these today which is whatever so it's nice if you guys want to check out this is a block studio you can rent them um i'll link everything down below but it's super cute You got me my favorite. I my get one. one. Let's heat them up. Are they hot? No. Yeah, yeah. I want to heat I them up a little. Oh my god! And it's so clean in here. 
Yeah, I got the, I made them clean today. Wow, you have the house clean for me. You did such a good job. Thank you. you I get welcome with my favorite yeah, Portuguese snack. Welcome, baby. Thank you. Hello. What is this uh, for YouTube? I say Roberto is back. Roberto is back. Roberto surprised me with all this cute stuff for my birthday. Look at this. I don't like that number. It could really say like 22, you know, instead of 28, but. Why is this so cute? Wow. The mini house. <laughs> he cleaned the whole house. Had them clean it all for me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Kika. Happy birthday to the Kika. Happy birthday, pee pee. Thank <laughs> you. Nice cake. You got me a cake. What kind of cake is it? It's a cake red velvet. Aww. Did I make a wish? Yeah, you have to. Okay, wait, wait. What did I make a wish for? <sighs> I did it quickly, okay? This is cute. I had five minutes what to do that, so. This? Two what is this card? Out. You drew in the card. Wow. <coughs> sure, sure. I did the emojis. Look. He was drawing. Look at this. <laughs> like, who? He has better handwriting than me. Wow, I can. This is not. Who wrote this? Uh, I read it. Right this down. is not your handwriting. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Babe. This is so nice. It's so cute, babe. He got me a nice watch. I've been wanting a watch for so long and I could like never find the right one. Th baby, this is perfect. You need the right size for you. Yeah? Oh, oh, that's nice. That's so nice. It looks good. It does, huh? You have to maybe get yeah, it a little more. Yeah, we need to more. fix it out. Yeah, yeah, we need wow. to get it. Wow. This is perfect. Perfect. It's like big like I wanted. I can't, I'm having such a hard time finding a big one. Look at that. And yeah. the second one. The second one. I get nervous. For the baby influencer. Influencer? Yeah, it's just that one. Two more. Another bag? What is this? Oh, another bag. No one ever buys me gifts except you. <laughs> I don't know how to react to gifts, so forgive my reaction. Yeah, I'm be, not used to getting it. This kind of a surprise. This one is a surprise? Okay. Mm -hmm. What is it? Who is that? No, you didn't. <laughs> what did you do? What did you do? Those. <laughs> I'm nervously laughing. <laughs> this is what it says. Oh. You got it. How did you get them? Oh my god! I was literally, I was literally saying today, I really wanted some Bottega sunglasses. Wow! And you got them. Oh. How did you find them? I drove around. These are in. Let me see if they're this so cute. You? Do I look like a bug? Wow! These are so if cute. They're, if they're a bit fucked up, you can always go there and regulate them. You know. Yeah. These are so cute.
Okay, so this is the fit for the daytime today. I am just wearing this oversized blazer that I got from Princess Polly. My top is also from Princess Polly. And then these jeans I keep getting questions on. I got them from Aritzia, I believe they're, yeah, they're Levi's. They literally fit me through every phase. They're like the perfect baggy jean. They are wrinkly, but um, they just go with like anything. I just, I love them. They're the only like boyfriend jeans I find that look good on my body um, that are flattering because I have bigger thighs and a bigger butt. So I will leave them down below if I can find them. And then I'm just wearing my Sack Fifth Avenue boots that I have under my jeans. I just folded them. I'm like loving this look right now where I kind of just fold up my jeans. Yeah, and then I'm wearing this huge Jody from Bottega. I'm renting from Varel. I will link that down below if you're interested in renting bags. But um, I love it. I love it. I have a little bit of color. I'm really like stepping out of my comfort zone when it comes to fashion and just doing whatever feels right and not giving a fuck what anybody else has to say about it if i feel cute i feel cute yeah happy birthday to me oh shit who is she who is she cute. they are cute oh these are it 28 is a whole vibe i'm loving i i feel like i'm stepping into who i am as 20. it's a badass beach vibe Okay, babe, I'm up. So this is the little birthday fit that I have going on. I wear this all the time. Like if you know me, you know I wear this. We are about to head out to dinner. So let's go, we're running late. This is the restaurant Roberto is taking me to for my birthday. What is it called, babe? So good. It is so cold and so it's windy. Cold. It's called what? It's cold. It's no, cold. It's it's called what? The restaurant? Sud. Sud. Such a nice dinner vibe. You can barely see Roberto. But we got some bread. We got some, I don't know what this is, sparkling white wine, which is my favorite. And a beautiful view of the bridge. A little bit of sauce. Right, just dip them in. So good. Sunny. It is the day after my birthday. I'm rocking the new sunnies that Roberto got me. They're so cute. My new favorite obsession. I don't know. I feel different. I do feel different. I do feel different. I think. You Being feel 28. More mature. I feel more mature finally. Wiser. I do. I feel like I'm more. I'm a actual woman. We're gonna go work on the beach today. Cause why not? Why not? We're gonna take our laptops. We have a little umbrella. We're gonna go to our favorite restaurant on one of my favorite beaches in Portugal. Is it right here or? Yeah, it's here, it's here. It's not right here. Yeah, it's here. You're literally, it's not. It's here. Right there. There you go. Look at you, finding a parking. I need a damn massage. 